Hello everybody, it's Guy Smiley here, and today we're doing a little review of my Solar Eclipse filter paper that I got for the upcoming Solar Eclipse, and we are taking a trip to see it, and I needed a solar filter so I was, I'd be able to take pictures of the sun while the moon is moving in front of it. And to do so, you need a special kind of filter. So I got a piece of filter paper so that I could make my own filter with a just a normal cheap UV filter. Normal cheap Vivitar UV filter. So I'm going to secure the solar filter paper around this UV filter, so I'll have a cheap solar filter. So first, let's unbox this. and un Unenvelope it, I guess. <laughs> okay, I have... Uh, uh, you, if you saw a cut there, it's because I just showed you guys my address. <laughs> so you might be wondering why I'm doing this on my LEGO channel. Um, I just... I'm not... I'm, I'm going to do a few non-LEGO videos on here. Just because... <laughs> It's just what I want to do. I don't want to do just LEGO videos on this channel. I'm also going to do some non-LEGO videos. So let's see, we need to be careful here. <laughs> don't want to show you guys my address. Okay, so let's see. It says 4x4 solar filter sheet for binoculars and cameras and then it has some general information and warnings right here mounting you guys can pause that if you want to read it I will read it off camera so it looks like it comes, it's 4 inches by 4 inches. Looks like it comes between two pieces of cardboard. So let's see here. Okay. So it's inside here. Inside this taped piece of paper here. Need to be very careful not to cut the filter. The filter piece. Oh. Scissors got on it. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. There it is. The solar filter paper. Okay, I'm gonna be very careful. Okay, that's then that that it's a lot thinner than I thought it was. Oh, got sticky. It's a lot thinner than I thought it was, but that's okay. There we go. That's four by four, four inches by four inches. It's really dark because it's meant to look at the sun when it's shining. Wow, that is really thin. Now, I forgot the brand of this, but it'll be in the title of the video. So now we're going to cut it out and secure it to my 58mm lens filter. Hopefully, maybe I'll have room to make two. And one if I mess up, you know. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do that off camera and then once I have it secured we will go out and I will test it and see how it works. So I'll see you guys later.
All right, guys, so we've completed our solar filter now. Um, so what I did is I just had a uh, ND filter also that I was not using. So I just screwed that on top of the UV filter so that the solar filter paper is kind of sandwiched in between the two filters. What you could also do is you could just... Um, Getting a piece of dust out. You can also just secure it in this filter somehow. Maybe with a little bit of glue or tape. But it's just simpler to me to put the two filters together. Maybe I'll buy another UV filter. That would be the, be the best thing to do is get two, U two UV filters and put it in between. But so yeah, so I just took the, the X-Acto knife and I cut out the piece from the paper. And then I just, uh, like, cut off slowly little slivers until it fit inside there perfectly. So here's a scrap that I can just show you to do a bit of a test on it. So the silver side faces toward the sun. And this paper is pretty thin, actually. It's pretty solid, though. It doesn't scratch off. It's not like a sprayed-on finish. It's pretty good, pretty, pretty good quality. I apologize for that like the sound there. My mom is building something <laughs> in the front yard. But yeah, so it's, it's pretty good quality. It's not easy to rip. Um, it, it's pretty thin, so it does bend easily, so don't, don't crease it when you buy it. But other than that, it's pretty good. And now let's go outside. And we can test it. I just need to get my other other lens on, and then we can test, put the filter on, and then go t take a video of the sun while it is in the sky. So I'll see you guys in a minute. So we're outside now. The pool filter is kind of loud, but so the, the sun is up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the filter on. It's going to get pretty dark. You're not going to be able to see anything. So the filter is now on the camera. You can't see anything. But the thing is, you can see the sun. Now look at that. So there is the sun. So it does work. The UV filter does work. Um, it's a video right now, so I don't know if that's how how if that's affecting how it works, or the ND filter might be affecting it, but. I'll take some pictures and put them at the end of this video in a little bit of a slideshow and then you guys can decide for yourself if this is something that you want to buy. And maybe I'll add my thoughts after the pictures as well. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's uh, we're back inside, and we took the filter off of the camera. And so my final thoughts on this is I actually think it's a very good piece of filter if you don't want to spend like $80, and you might need one for the Eclipse, and uh, just for taking pictures of any sun, of the sun anywhere. <laughs> um... Because, and most of the uh, official ones that are already made are sold out now on the website. So this is a, definitely a good option. I don't know, I read on Amazon that something about sunspots. Um, I couldn't see any sunspots. Maybe one. 
but I don't know if it was sunspots or a, a piece of dust. But that's not really what I'm trying to get with this. I'm trying to get uh, pictures of the sun with the moon in front of it. So sunspots are not really my concern. But it definitely works. The pictures do look good. You need a tripod if you want to use it because you're my uh, holding it with your hands doesn't really work. But so yeah, I definitely think it's a good product um, to buy if you want a cheap solar filter. This is the paper. But yeah, so thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be back to making Lego videos right after this one. <laughs> and I will probably upload some videos of the trip that we are taking to see the eclipse soon. So be watching for those. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, oh, one more thing. This was, I got this from Amazon. And the price of it was $9, I think. A total of $9. So that is pretty cheap. It's pretty cheap. Good value. I could probably make another one for my smaller lens if I wanted to, but I don't have lens filters for that. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, ask me in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.